American English. That's great. So you wanted to say something. Today I wanted to talk to you all about one thing. You're learning spoken English. But there's a question I ask many new learners of spoken English. Do you know what an accent is? Uh, accent? Right? Okay, tell us. Like, I would like to ask the person here. Apple, would you tell me what an accent is? Do you know what an accent is? I do have no idea about accent. Not exactly. Not exactly. Okay. Good one. Well, an accent is a way to pronounce different words or names of things. There are three types of accents. And you continue. There are three types of accents for English, but do you know there are also accents for Bangla? Like we call them Anjali Pasha in Bangla. Okay. That is actually an accent. Repeat the question. The chocolate that is bought with one teacup. What do you call it in English? A little chocolate that is bought with one teacup. One ticket. Or yes. oh. candy? Yes, that is American English. But in British English it is called sweets. Sorry? Sweets. Sweets. Oh my goodness. So American says uh, it's candy and British says it's candy. sweet. Right. But in Bangladesh, we call it chocolate, but that is completely wrong. Because chocolate is a different type of candy. It's not even candy. It's a type of sweet that is made from a fruit. And dairy milk, that is supposed to be chocolate. Chocolate, right. Next. Then we also have another thing. Like, hmm, what do you call, you know, the biscuit in our thing? In our country, biscuits. We call it biscuits, right? But have you ever wondered where did it come from? Which country? It is not Bangla. It's British English. In British English, they call it biscuit. Biscuit, right? But in American English, they call it cookies. Cookies, claps, 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 claps. Cookies, biscuits, and cookies. Next. Um, Australian English has a little bit of connection with British English, but it's very different. What's that? What do you call pants in British English? Okay. Trousers. Trousers. Oh, so, you're not really? Like, yes. Like we call a left a left. In British English, that is a left. But in American English, it's called. Can anyone tell me? Elevator. 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 Another class. So British says lift. American says elevator. Next. Carry on. Okay. Water. Turn the T into a D. D. Water. But in British, it's water. Water. Okay. So, uh, Mridula, are you confident enough? Yeah. We know you are confident enough. So, could you please tell us your journey with English? How you uh, came across that? Bangla and Hindi cartoons. I was just bored of them so much. So 
my desk kept on clicking on my remote box until I found a good channel. Suddenly, I came across a channel that spoke a language that I didn't understand on the first day. But I was interested. I didn't. I was four years old and I didn't even know what English was. But just, just a week later, I could understand every single word they said. And I was speaking with them. Them with my toys. Soon I kept on so you were repeating with the toys? Yes. Oh my goodness. Next. Then uh, I grew older, I learned, I got more fluent, and so I liked going to school years later. I understood that I was speaking in English. I didn't even know that I was speaking English. Then I went to school and I was taught that English is the language of the world. I learned to speak English. I was a little shocked when the English teacher spoke. When, the, when I heard my teacher speak in English, I thought, why are they speaking like robots? Robots? <laughs> okay. Because I was speaking in the accent, but they were using Bangla accent. Bangla accent, which right. Which is not that, that feeling that you have in the earth. That's the kind of shame for us. Yeah. Yeah. So I was very confused, and when everybody heard my voice, they were like, what? What are you saying? Since I heard that, I didn't really use my English much. I was like brought down. I didn't know that was that talent in it actually, or is this just some bullshit, some bullshit that I speak? I didn't even know that it was talent. So here's my life. My friendship style isn't that good. I can make friends with my students older than me and younger than me. Better than I can make friends with my same age people. So I didn't really have friends in my childhood. I so you lost your friends? I had no friends. No in friends. The okay. In second grade, I was literally dying. Like everybody used to call me fat, and it was torture for me. But one thing was with me all this time English. How do you ask? Well, whenever anybody called me fat and I had a fight with them, I would cry and talk to myself in English in the bathroom. Bathroom. <laughs> it's the best. It's the best place. For best place for English. speaking English yeah. in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I kept on doing that for years, but nobody actually knew about my childhood. I was a loser. I literally sat in the corner of the room every single time. I had no friends, but. Something changed in me in fifth grade, meaning last year. I was determined to make some friends this year. So I tried to get into the most popular group of our school, who looked like a murder. That's why I got more time with her. So I met her. She, I was shocked to see she was awfully nice and she became my friend straight for I told her my English. Okay, 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 Mithula, uh, we are very sorry to stop you. And we are eagerly waiting to hear your words one more time. So give her a big clap. Thanks, Mithula. Thank you, Mithula. Thanks for a very good presentation. Okay, sir. Sure. Okay, I have a straightforward question. Apple, I have a question. On your phone, on YouTube. 
Yeah. Which language do you have on? Like all your theory Which language do they speak? Do you use? YouTube. English? Mostly English. But about what? Normal things or about speaking English? Like American YouTubers, gamers, those types of things, right? Some of us have, but mostly we have people that teach English. That is not good. We need people that already speak English to teach us. We need to hear them how they speak many times to understand when, when to put each word. I myself am literally, I know nothing about grammar. But yeah, she knows nothing about grammar. Okay, man. Mind it.